Okay, we're continuing, we're messing around with videos and still images. So right now we can go uh, and look at what we have here. I have my original video file that we've been working with. And if we do FFmpeg dash I, the video file, and then we do video percent 4D dot JPEG. Now, um, if you've been watching these series, sometimes I put the four in there for the placeholder, sometimes I do not. If you are creating still images that are going to go back into a video file, you don't want to put the 4D because FFmpeg will get confused with the placeholder zeros. But since we're going to be creating a animated GIF today, uh, we want them numbered properly, otherwise the frames will be out of order. So as you see, based on what I told you in the first tutorial, uh, you put that in there depending on what you're going to do. But one other thing we're going to do here is we're going to create an animated GIF and if we do this full um, 1080p video into still images into a GIF it's going to be a rather large file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the files I can do it later or now I think it's just easier to do it now what I'm going to do is dash S for size I'll say 480 uh, X 250. So I'm just saying I'm changing the resolution as we export into JPEGs instead of being the 19 something by 10 something, the 1080p, um, we are going to um, be resizing each image as it's saved to 480 by 250, which is relatively low quality uh, when it comes to doing work. But when it comes to an animated GIF, which is what we're creating, that's actually can be kind of large. Animated GIFs are usually tiny because uh, otherwise they become large files. Uh, another thing I'm going to do here is um, we also, since we're going to be creating an animated GIF, we don't need the full 30 frames a second. Maybe you do. Maybe you're just going to make a short little loop and you want the full 30 frames a second. But really I'm just going to go 10 frames a second. Really when you're working with, with, with something like this, 15 is way more than enough. Um, you're not going to really notice uh, too much jerkiness in an animated GIF. You're not really worried too much about quality when you're working with an animated GIF. Um, but I'm going to go with uh, 10 frames a second. But you play around depending on what your little clip is going to be. You may want a little higher or a little lower, but really anything over 15 for an animated GIF is, is overkill in my opinion. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter there. And basically, uh, since it's a 30 frame a second video originally, it's going to do every third frame, take it, export it, resize it and save it as a JPEG. Okay, so now if I list out, you can see we have some video files here. They have the placeholder zeros, which is important when it comes to creating the animated GIF the way we're doing it. And if I list and I do uh, WC there, you can see uh, it says there's 107 files. Uh, one of them's our original video. So we have 106 frames that we're working with right now. Um, and uh, there are a few things we can do here. First, I'm just gonna say, Animate. Uh, animate, I believe, is part of the Image Magic package, which we're going to be using Image Magic uh, in this tutorial. Uh, Image Magic, I've gone over in the past. It basically allows you to do pretty much anything to still images from the command line. So think of it as GIMP or Photoshop for the command line. And Animate is just one of the programs within that package. And if we say Animate and we say all the JPEGs, what it's going to do is it's going to, in a second here, it's adding in all those images. You can see it's at 80, 90, 106, and there we go. It's playing the video extremely fast, um, mainly because we're, it's probably playing at three times what it would normally be because we're, we did every third frame. But that's just to give you a preview. That doesn't create a new file. That's just a little thing for you to see all the frames uh, in our sequence here. So that's a neat little program I just learned about called animate. Now to actually create the JPEG we're going to use the convert command. Once again the convert command, the convert program is part of the image magic package and normally it's used to convert one video format to another and also add other effects and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to use today to convert all our still images into a single uh, JPEG file or I'm sorry animated GIF file. So what we're going to say is just convert and we are going to say um, all of our JPEG files and we're going to convert them to I'll just say video.gif. We'll hit enter and it'll take a few seconds because it's got to take all I think 107 frames, 106 frames we just said, taking them all, basically converting them from a JPEG to individual GIF images and then compiling them all into one file. Um, 
Now, this is just one way of doing it, and there's other options you can give it. Uh, you can also do this sort of thing with something like GIMP and maybe compress it a little bit more because we're going to get kind of a large file here. Uh, we'll find out here in a moment how large. Um, just because it's 106 frames and still a decent size for a GIF file at one, uh, 480 by 250. Um, you can see right now, if I click on it here, you can see already it's uh, at 8 megabytes and it's still being created. Um, but once it's done, we should be able to open that and have a little animation there. Okay, it's done being created. We'll double click here. And there we go. There is our animated GIF. Now uh, it's playing 106 uh, frames within that file. Uh, the entire thing's just under 10 megabytes. Um, and by default, it automatically loops forever, over and over and over again. Um, now, just to save time in the tutorial, I'm going to delete that file, and I'm actually going to erase a lot of these files. We'll say, we'll start right here. I'm just going to delete that. Just kind of cut the number of frames in half, just to, so it renders a little bit faster, because we're going to do that a few more times with different options. Now, as I just said, it is uh, looping forever, but you can tell it how many times you want it to loop. Now, by default, it uses loop zero, which means loop forever. But if we do loop one, it will loop the animation once. Really, you'll view it twice because it plays it once and then loops it once. Uh, but I'll just say loop three, and so it should play it a total of four times anytime someone opens up this GIF file. So you create this, you send this GIF file to someone, and it will loop four, three times, actually play the full sequence four times, and then stop on the final frame. Um, now this might become in handy if you're maybe making a banner for a website. You want it to maybe spin around a few times and then stop. So that's one thing you could use this for, but be creative and think of other things. So now since we cut the number of frames in half by deleting a bunch of them, uh, I can click on this and you can see right now it's only 5 megabytes instead of the original close to 10 megabytes. But we'll bring it up here. Right here. So you can see it playing the animation. Slightly jerky, but that's because it's 10 frames a second, but it's an animated GIF, so it's not really supposed to be that smooth. And as you can see, it played through the loop once. It should play it through one or two more times and then stop. There we go. So it played it through, it looped it three times, and then stopped on the final frame. So that's the loop option there. So uh, I hope that you learned a lot in this tutorial. I hope you find this useful if you're trying to make animated GIFs. Um, they are Something that's been around for a long time and a lot of people have thrown to the wayside, but they're also still very fun and very popular in uh, the right atmosphere. So uh, I hope you guys come up with some funny little clips and you post them online and share them with other people. I mean, I guess they're just a, a fun little tool to play with. Um, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.